Untangling the web, contemplating, to illuminate. In the introductory decree of GC Roman 20, it says, Faced with certain disorders, we see the need to refine our discernment in our use of new technologies so as not to fall into the temptation of being in strong communication virtually with the outside world, but isolated in the community or allowing our consecrated life to lose depth and consistency. We also sense that in the face of the speed of life and the excess of virtual relationships, accompaniment can be helpful for personal discernment, for this is where we put at stake our living of and witnessing to the Magi's that demands something more of us. Below, we present a proposal for reflection that draws a parallel between the rules of St. Ignatius on ordering oneself in eating and the use of social media. With all this, we are invited to discern personally and communally how we are using our time in the media. Rules to order oneself regarding the internet. First rule, use as an information tool. The internet offers enormous possibilities as a tool that facilitates communication and access to information. Nowadays, to use the internet is a necessary skill and there is no reason to slow down its rational use, especially when searching for information and reading the news, as well as for research tools, email and help with our work. Second rule, caution regarding digital mediation in relationships, there are other uses such as for interpersonal communication, social networks and other substitutes for relationships, leisure and free time, which, due to their pretension and scope, require greater caution. Digital mediation in the world of relationships requires special discernment to distinguish usefulness and benefits from other aspects that can be harmful. We must not be naive regarding the risk of abuse and addiction. Third rule, criteria of use and need. It is important to be clear about what I need from these technologies and what might be superfluous use. Except for experts and specific professional fields, it is not necessary to have the latest device or the best features. Being aware of my need and my level of use helps to curb the dynamics of the market that surrounds these technologies. Fourth rule, less is more. The internet and ICT tend to take up more and more of our time. As tools, we will get a lot out of them if we only use them when they are necessary. It is preferable not to always leave the computer or cell phone on and not to keep them in the place where we rest. It does not help to associate free time with an indiscriminate use of the internet that consumes time and prevents other more profitable activities such as exercise, music, reading, or interacting with other people. Too much time on the internet can hinder the development of the capacity for concentration and contemplation, fragmenting our being and weakening our mission. Fifth rule, be authentic. It is important that the use of these media does not become a separate compartment from the rest of our lives. The temptation of anonymity is overcome with transparency. It does not help to hide who we are or to play with false identities. Using this medium spiritually and pastorally will also help us to integrate our religious dimension into the digital world. It helps to consider it as an environment of relationships in which, like Jesus, we go out to meet others just as we are. Sixth rule, create your own offline spaces. Respect your time and give yourself space for interiority, spirituality, and digital silence. Include in your life moments with human rhythm. Create areas where there is no computer or other devices and do not allow interruptions. Manage the alerts, turn the sound off. Ensure spaces where you can encounter yourself and live your relationship with God without mediation or interference. Seventh rule, take control. Try to avoid aimlessly surfing the internet without being clear about where you are going and to what. Try not to let the internet be the master of your time and itinerary. When you open your browser or email, it is important to have a purpose and to stick to it. It helps to take notes of new ideas and areas of research to continue at another time. Access the tools when you need them email, 
social networks and do not allow constant automatic interruptions that scatter and district. Bookmarking and read later tools help a lot to avoid the endless digressions and offshoots typical of networked information. Eighth rule plan. In order not to become disordered, it is better to plan in advance the use I'm going to make of these media. For example, at the end of the day, I could design the plan for the next day when I do not feel so urged to connect. It is good to set goals for the time and type of use. Pay special attention to the night and the end of the day where these technologies tend to occupy spaces and times that would be key for rest and vital reflection. Helpful texts. 2 John chapter 1 verse 12. I have much to write to you, but I do not want to use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to visit you and talk with you face to face, so that our joy may be complete. Fratelli Tutti 431 Digital media can also expose people to the risk of addiction, isolation and a gradual loss of contact with concrete reality, blocking the development of authentic interpersonal relationships. For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Luke Chaper 12 verse 34 Questions for personal reflection. Here are some questions that may help you reflect and then share in community. Remember to take notes and write down what you want to communicate. What steps can we take to improve the quality of dialogue in the community? What helps me to balance my life? How can we plan the use of the internet in shared spaces and time? To conclude, Empty nets emerge from the sea of mirrors. There is no fishing after the nap of Narcissus, deterrent to find himself in the water. We will gather nothing if the labor only seeks to keep things in the normal state. You shall not be fisherman, a solitary hero, seeker of your own reflection, nor a guardian of essential elements. To fish, cast your nets, on the other side, become friend, dreamer and disciple. Become companion of others embarking in order to catch the harvest, abundant harvest of projects and lives that will calm the deepest hunger that twists the stomach of the world, hunger for love.